like that. Love that song. All right, my first guest tonight received an Academy Award for her work in Boys Don't Cry. Now she's been nominated for a Best Actress Oscar for her role in the movie Million Dollar Baby. Please welcome Hilary Swank. Excited. Thank that's, you. I'm very excited. It's I'm like very there's excited. so many people on the planet that have one Oscar and they'd be like, that's great. I don't ever need to go it through is. this again. I, I'm, I think it's great. And so I'm you're nominated again, and yeah. uh, people, and this is no fluke either. I mean, this was an amazing role. This is Thank a you. challenging role for you. Yes, it was challenging. You yeah. had to do something I could never do, which was you gained 19 pounds of muscle. Yes. Yeah, I, I don't have that gene. But you, <laughs> I could. You, you can box. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, we all saw my moves. <laughs> you why got didn't, that part why didn't Clint Eastwood use me in the role? Well, I, think. I, I asked him the same thing. Yeah, but, yeah, um, yeah, and he just giggled for the first time in his life. <laughs> we all <laughs> giggled. <laughs> asked if you could be my trainer. Really? That would have been good, yeah. I, w I would have really helped you in this role quite a bit. How do you gain 19 pounds of muscle? First of all, how did you do that? I mean, um, is, it just, uh, is it just lifting it's, weights? It's, or is um, it... two hours of lifting weights a day, two and a half hours of boxing a day, and it is drinking egg whites, um, drinking flax oil, eating 210 grams of protein, waking up in the middle of the night and drinking protein shakes. And um, Wow. Yeah. It, does, it of, sounds joyless, because of... if someone told me, like, 19 <laughs> pounds, I would think this is great. I'm going to fat burger, no. and I'm just going to stuff my puss, but, but no, that's well, not that, what... That would be 19 pounds of fat. Yeah. So yeah. you can do that. That I can do, okay. yeah. But the problem is I'm Irish. It all collects around the head. It's the problem. <laughs> I get that big um, balloon head. But so so you did that. You yeah. got in this incredible I shape. I think it was, in, and it was, it was so extensive because it was only three months. Right. You know, I had three months in which to do it. Right, right. And then you, you, you learned, I mean, there's a lot of boxing movies where you're watching it and you think they're not really boxing. And I love the Rocky movies, yes. but... Yeah. You know, they're just, they're I sort know. of, they're, they're a little cartoonish, and you can often see sometimes yes, that he's like, his, missing and yeah, he's missing. I, looked, and, I watched it when I was in my training, and I was noticing that. Well, in those movies, the fighters don't even protect themselves. It's just it's like just Rocky like hitting Clubber <laughs> Lang, and he doesn't even have his fit, and then the other yeah, guy going for 10 like minutes. Yeah, it's very yeah. entertaining. Yeah. But this looked very realistic, well, and it looked you. like you, could you could you fight? I mean, did you I, really learn how to do it? I really learned how to do it. You know, I thought, I mean, obviously, if I'm going to play a boxer, I want to be believable as a boxer. And yeah, right. so I went and I learned how to box with wow. Hector Roca. He's out here in Brooklyn at Gleason's Gym, and a great, amazing, renowned, world-renowned gym. And right. it was amazing. It was an amazing experience. I grew a lot. It was definitely the most physically challenging thing I've ever asked myself to do of it. You should do an easier film now, because you always choose these really, you, you know, tough roles yeah, and big challenges. Your next film should be, like, the girl in the bubble bath, you know? <laughs> the whole movie is you sitting there eating Fig Newtons and having a bath. That sounds fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to line it up. I've got a great okay, script. Good, good. Nothing happens. Fig and then Newtons. you sleep for 20 minutes in the middle. Um, <laughs> now, you, you boxed... Your, your, your husband, Chad, learned to box as well, just well, sort of no, to... No, he didn't learn to box, but I'd say, you know, on a Saturday, um, you know, come on in and spar with me. Sure, he'd come in and spar, and... <laughs> he um, he kind of spars like a, well, like a penguin. I mean, he's wearing a tuxedo. Uh, no, he, uh, Chad has this walk that he does when he spars where he goes like this. Oh wow, he's going like to love this. Uh, like he's going to love this story right now. It's, yeah, he no he knows, he knows he does it. Right, right. And so would you would just be laughing while he I was going I would laugh like, and then right. and then I would hit him. <laughs> as as, this sounds like good couples counseling it is, actually. actually. Um, couples and then I'd hit should him fight. and then he'd say I can't hit you back and so I'd hit him harder. Right, right. And then, you know, I can't hit you back and I'd hit him even harder. Right, and right. And he couldn't believe I was hitting him so he'd just start pinning me. And I'm like that's <laughs> not boxing actually. That's wrestling. Right, that's right. another sport. Right. And then when he'd turn his back, you'd hit him again. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Many marriages work that way. <laughs> you, uh, your trainer sounds like a pretty serious guy because at one point I read that he had you, as part of your training, push an SUV. Yes. Is that true? You're, um, that's my weight trainer, Grant Roberts. He, right. um, he would have me do um, you know, major weights, and then at the end of that, then I would, that's when I'd do my push-ups or my other things outside of the gym. So, yes, one day he did actually have me push his SUV. Right. Were people stopping the, along the road, like, to well, give you gas and things like that? You know, just... I, I, I would say about six people said, can we help you? Right, right. You're like, no, I'm doing this. I said, no, I'm trying to work out. 
Leave right. me alone. Right. No. I'm training for a film. I'm training for a movie. Can't you? No. Yeah. I, no, I. Um, the broken I, SUV. I said, Thank you. No, we're okay. <laughs> we're okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, so, but it was so, funny he did things like that and actually kept it really fun and, and different and I would, varied. I don't even know where a guy would, like, where a trainer would think of something like that. Like, I got an idea. I'm going to turn off my SUV and you push it. I mean, yeah. that just sounds well, like he's a strange Well, you know what he would do is strange... he would just try and make it fun and different and, right. and not boring and, right. and keep, you know, just. You know, just keep it varied, and it was definitely kept it more exciting. That's the key, I know, because when I work out, and we all know I work out like a fiend, <laughs> it's getting, it's getting, uh, it's getting bored. That's the biggest problem. Yeah, it is. You and know? you know, how many leg presses can you do, and lunges can you do? And actually, that's my least favorite. Right. I don't like doing lunges at all. Right. So right. it was a way to lunge with not thinking of lunging. Well, I'm always like, how could these get bigger? You know, enough. <laughs> um, <laughs> When you laugh at that, you undermine oh, me. Oh, yeah. my God, don't, oh, not too hard, yeah. not too hard. That's not too hard. <laughs> That'll, that bruise will not go away. <laughs> Doesn't it feel like there's flan in there? Isn't it just like... It feels like there's boulders in there. Thank you, thank you. Um, stop it. This is not good for my self-esteem. The, the, uh, yeah, the... You know, there's something that, that I've heard before, you know, and, and, and it must be, I don't know if this is weird for you or it's a compliment, but uh, you, it's, it's, you have to take this as a compliment that plastic surgeons have said, you know, that when they come in, there are different features that women request when they want work done. And one of the features they always say is they say, I want a jaw like Hillary Swank, like a beautiful jaw. Do you, how, does, how do you feel about that? That seems like a strange thing to... That people are yeah. requesting. Well, I don't know if that makes. Yeah, I don't know if that makes me happy that that's the thing that people like the most on me is my jaw. Yeah. You know? But also, it's not they my fit, eyes or yeah. my lips well, or I think my it's hair. All, it's, it's all my good. Jaw. It's all good. I think jaw is very nice. Oh well, thanks. Yeah. Now I take it well, as a compliment. Well, what's weird is they actually want your jaw. Yeah. Yeah, that is. <laughs> on eBay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Someone, ha, don't worry, we're just gonna take yeah, this off. We'll take this off. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was very odd. Apologies all around. <laughs> People want my lower back, I've heard. Yeah? Is it sexy? It, no, not at all. They just, they've heard things. It's just, it's where it meets the butt. Um, <laughs> well, I broke this interview, and that's usually where I get out. Uh, um, Million Dollar Baby, of course. You, this is thrilling. And, it is. Uh, it's so exciting. And, and you do an amazing job. Thank and you. I don't want to give anything away, but the, this movie, it's, there's an intensity to this movie you don't, you don't get a lot when you go to the movies. Yeah. And it's incredible. Million Dollar Babies in theaters now. And also Hillary's hosting Saturday Night Live. Yes. This weekend with musical guest 50 Cent. Yes. So, hey, I don't want to jinx anything, but just best of luck to you. Thank you. And uh, at the Academy Awards. And thanks so much for being here. Thank Great you. to have you. Hillary Swank. Roger Ebert coming up to take a break. We'll be right back.